Welcome back to Relaxing Reality. Today, we have a special date. Day date. Day date to Hershey Park. And it's been a while since you've been in a vlog. I just don't like scary things. <laughs> so she's been hiding throughout all of Hershey Park Dark Night. So technically... I've been hiding. I've been at home. I just don't like scary things. So, so. technically, Hershey Park Dark Night's... Uh, ends today, but we're going during the day. We're going to be checking out some of the uh, attractions, what's opening. It's actually kind of raining right now, so we're going to see what is actually how busy Hershey Park is. We're going to have a good time, and we invite you to join us for a nice, fun little adventure with us, just the two of us, without the kids. When's that happen? Not often. Not often, so here we go. What a difference a couple days makes. Friday night, this entire parking lot was completely full. I mean, we got here at seven o'clock at night, but right now it's 12 o'clock Sunday and there's the chance of rain and it is pretty dead, but it's also, it just opened, the park just opened, so. Although there was a pass holder event this morning for King and full size pass holders starting at 10. So it's surprising that the season pass holder lot is not fuller. Yeah. So, but it's raining. I mean, I, I feel like the rain is the best time to come to Hershey Park, really, because and we're gonna see we're gonna see specifically what's open during the rain, because we're gonna walk around. This is our first time actually going. Yes, um, we came. Here we go. There's a share. parking spot right here. This is not a parking spot. I'm gonna make one. This is not a parking oh, spot. It is not okay. This is why I shouldn't drive. <laughs> well, this is why you should probably focus on driving and not vlogging. Yeah, that's true really not a bad parking spot it's uh we're right here and the entrance is right over there so and it, what led us to come to hershey park today i think is this loyalty challenge thing that we finally paid attention to uh basically if you're a season pass holder uh they give you different level prize levels you earn points for how many times you come during a particular period so right now during hershey dark nights there's a loyalty challenge um and i was one visit away from getting 70 20, 30,000 points, whatever, to get to the next level, which would have been a free... We're one visit away from having enough points to go to Sweet Lights. For Sweet free. Lights. Get a free pass to Sweet Lights, which I think is about what? It's like a drive-through thing? It's a drive-through lights that they do during the Christmas season, so we definitely want to check that out. I think it's like, what, 25 bucks or so when they do Sweet Lights? Yeah, so... But we're going to get a free pass. Yeah, and we were calculating how much, like... How much gas is going to cost to come today? And you know, I think it's worth it. We'll probably spend ten dollars to get here and home in gas. Yeah, but yeah, it's worth it. Well, I also wanted to see. I wanted to see all the fall stuff. Like, I want to see the decorations, but without the actual scare people here. Without the scare actors here, yeah. I want to see it, but not at night. <laughs> it is noon. And we've arrived. Here we go. And being a season pass holder, and because the event was allowing people to come in a couple hours before the general public opening. Uh, we were able to just get right into lane 10, walk right through, and walk right in. And it's really not bad right now. This is no. this is quote unquote rain. If it stays like this all day, it'll be great. This might be a perfect time to go to Hershey Park if it's like overcast and maybe drizzling. I mean, well, this the is pretty. Characters have costumes on. Yeah, they do. Go. Come on down. All right, Mr. Hershey, we're back second time in three days all right we're gonna make our way back to the hershey's not hershey's reese's, reese's. cup fusion how do i not know that reese's cup fusion because it's like the one that's, my speed ride. that's your speed level of ride that we're going to be riding today the super slow but i like it it's gonna be a lot of fun i rode it for the first time a couple of weeks ago and um hopefully it's open and hopefully it's not long of a line right now 
go. Reese's Cup Fusion. Hershey's uh, premier indoor dark attraction ride. This is definitely the shortest I've seen the line. Yeah, so one of the things I've noticed about this ride is it does take time to load people on the ride um, because they load one car at a time. So that's why the, the line is always long on this ride. So, uh, but it's a comparable to like a Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger spin, right? Like a slower. Very, very slow ride version of that. But. But it's cute. I would love to see Hershey Park do more of these type of rides though. Yeah. So it's fun when I actually like just actually try. I know? was trying. <laughs> I was trying and I did so bad. <laughs> you did it! Please remain seated until your Reese's <laughs> transport has come to a complete stop. <laughs> And come back again, agents. The Crystal <laughs> Cup needs your Reese's spirit. Bad. Oh my goodness. All right, Cup Fusion. Yep. I know the first time you rode it, you really weren't impressed, but. Well, it's not that I wasn't impressed. I was just expecting it to be faster, and I didn't think it was worth waiting an hour. It is not worth waiting an hour, but if you can get here right when the park opens. Yeah, if it's a quick wait. It was, so we got on and off, what was it, like 10 minutes? 10 minutes. And here's another ride that it's probably not worth the long wait, but we've never been on it before. We have not. It's here right now. That's why I'm trying to rush. Okay, we're running. I don't think we're going to make we're it. We probably won't make it because I was filming. And I love how pretty the fall is here. Late October, all the leaves are coming off the trees. Right, so this is a ride we have not been on yet. Yeah. Monorail. Because there's always a really long line. Yep. I think every time I've been here, it's been either at least a 45 minute wait. Yeah. So, and there's different ways to see Hershey Park. You got the, the kissing tower, you have the train, you have the monorail. Yeah. Um, this probably takes you the most, like, I think the route for this is bigger than the train, probably. Yeah. So we're gonna Ferris wheel, you can see from the top of that. Ferris wheel's pretty cool. Monorail starts here. Yep. It goes all the way through, like over here, up where the kissing tower is. Oh, it does go pretty far. And then Actually, it goes like over it the goes water. Out of the it goes out of the park, kind park. of. I don't know. And then it comes and it goes through Zoo America and then back around. Nice. I very much enjoyed that ride. Yeah, that was me really too. neat. And they take it was you nice and slow. Very slow. Your kind of ride, and it's beautiful with the the leaves all yellow and red. I didn't realize it takes you right near the old factory yeah. where it was, so that was pretty neat. On the app, it looks like you go for a body of water, but you're not. They just have everything outside the park in blue. Yeah. And I think we went on that at just the right time because now the line is a little bit longer. I remember earlier in the summer, I thought this was an ice cream truck. <laughs> it's an empanadilla truck. There's the fresh mini donuts at, uh, car here. And it's the East Coast mini donuts. They have different donuts you can buy. You get a six pack or a 12 pack. You can mix two flavors if you get 12. Yeah, it looks like it's 10.99 for 12. We're not gonna get a bucket of donuts because we don't need them, but you're here if you want them. So this is the fallout zone without any scare actors, without any lights, without any scariness. I like it this way. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. We went to, what was the name of the, the empanada truck? An empanada truck. I don't remember the name. Yeah. But it, they have beef empanadas, chicken empanadas. We also got the 
yucca fries? Yucca fries. Yucca fries. Yeah. Gonna look it up what exactly a yucca fry is. Well, I knew that a yucca was like a starchy vegetable, kind of like a potato. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure that I was right before saying it on camera. Yep, you were right. I'm right. This is really good. It's a very good. It's a garlic. The garlic sauce? Uh -huh. Nice. That's the beef empanada. And it comes with a little dipping salsa for it too, so that's really neat. These empanadas are a good size. Yeah, they are. Alright, I'm gonna bite into this thing. Good. That's bad. I got distracted by the fries. Dip it in the sauce here. Mm, that, we each have our own personal sauce, so yeah. double dipping is acceptable. We can double dip as much as you dip. want, yep. And that's what the chicken one looks like when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? It's good? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Very crispy. Mmm. Mm. Tastes really good. So I, I like the I like the beef one. I think mean, yeah, the beef is a little bit more flavorful, but they, the chicken tastes pretty good too. So you made a good point. The chicken does come with the salsa. So if you're into salsa, you might want to get the chicken one instead of the beef. So you don't like spice. Was it was it salsy too spicy for you or no? I mean, it has a bit of a kick to me, but you probably don't think it has any kick at all. <laughs> I could eat all kinds of spice. <laughs> all right, we're gonna duck into the Dark Knights Emporium. Last day that this is open and then it's closed for good. Well, close until next year at least. Um, this is, I've showed this before. They got the Decay Brigade gear. And uh, various mugs. It's a little bit of a glitter globe with all the haunted houses. <laughs> it does look like the Haunted Mansion stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Extra props. Yep, and I got this, I got this sh back when it, on opening weekend, and it glows in the dark. I just noticed that, yeah, they have scented candles from each of the haunted houses. So they have the descent candle and it smells like the... That one smells the best. That actually smells really nice. It's like a... Oh, this one looks really good too. It's Which one's that? Pumpkin. The Twisted Carnival. Twisted Carnival one. Oh yeah, it's like a pumpkin spice. Yeah. That's nice. This is really cool at night. It's still cool during the day. Pretty neat how they had this thing all lit up and stuff at night. I'll take your word for it and watch your videos. <laughs> And it, it still has not rained yet, so all the coasters are running right now, including Wildcat's Revenge. I really like the new sign that they put on it, and it glows up really nice at night. And I just checked the app. It's actually a 10-minute wait right now, so, you know, not too bad of a line for 117 on a Sunday with overcast rain in the forecast, but no rain yet. And that's one line that's always long, laugh track. No matter how... What time you come here, it's, there's always at least a half hour wait. All right, we found the first attraction that is officially closed at the moment. I'm not sure if it's just because of the rain, but the Ferris wheel. There were other attractions closed, but this is the first one that we wanted to do, so yes. it's closed. <laughs> and we know it's closed because there's a big giant trash can right there. And Lightning Racer is a walk-on right now. So you can just get right on it if you wanted to. We're not gonna ride any coasters today because you're not gonna ride any coasters today. <laughs> we could go to the zoo. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. I've never been there. I have not been to the zoo yet. Zoo America. And the Decay Brigade, if you wanna follow them, here's their Instagram, TikTok, social media profile. And it's the last day for Treatville. We're just gonna take a peek in there. We don't really have any kids that are of age for Treatville. No. So, you have to be what, 12, 11? All right, we just asked. It's actually technically 12 and under, yeah. but if you ask, they will give you a bag and like, you can- They probably would have given us a bag. Pretend to be a kid. I don't- I don't want to pretend to be a kid. I, it's all good. No, we're, we're okay. I don't need candy, so. But there you have it, Treatville. If you really wanted to, 
you could ask for a bag and participate. And there's little photo ops along the way, so you can imagine this is pretty busy during the actual Halloween season, last day here, that this is all gonna take place. And I have to say, it's very strange walking through the boardwalk in the fall. <laughs> it's really cold. You can take a picture with your camera or mine? It doesn't matter. The fake pumpkin. <laughs> and as we walk through it, they they just offered us candy too. We declined, but again, it looks like anyone can participate in Treatville. We got the Breaker's Edge. All closed down for the season, obviously. Now, how cool it would be if they did like a polar bear challenge. They opened like the water park for one day in, in November. You and would do it. I would totally do that. I would, I would come and I would jump in the wave pool. Oh, there, there is, we, we are, there is no escaping Treatville. We cannot just leave. We have to keep going around where we, I have no idea where we're going. Through the whole Treeville line. And if you ever wanted to see what the Lazy River looks like in the fall, that's what it looks like. That's a lot of leaves. You imagine if they clean that out in the springtime, that's gotta be quite the project. <laughs> of course I'll have a piece of chocolate. Can't say no to chocolate. Nope. And look at this, the wave pool completely empty. I mean, this isn't a surprise. They have to drain all the water so it doesn't break over the winter, but it's just so weird that this, a couple months ago, this was all full of water. Now it's all empty. <laughs> Looks like a parking lot, doesn't it? We're still in Treatville. <laughs> a long path. It is a long path around the Fair boardwalk. Fair warning, if you enter Treatville, you cannot escape. The treating path, <laughs> you can't leave until you finish the treating path. <laughs> I don't have a bag, but I will definitely take a Reese's. Yep. Thank you. You're good. Yes, my favorite. And the Jolly Rancher mixed up ride is practically a walk on as well, so. A lot of rides or walk-ons today. That's one that neither of us will ride, but both of our kids will. Yep. I haven't yet to bet on that ride yet. One of these days I will go on it, but that day is not today. And Storm Runner is running. I am not exaggerating. It is a 10 minute wait for Storm Runner. These guys are going on it. No. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on one roller coaster that you enjoy. Yeah. The Trailblazer. Ready to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad Jr. It's a very slow ride. It's a lot like Flight of the Hippogriff. Flight of the Hippogriff, yeah. yeah. Without the big drop either. There's no drop at all in this thing. Drop in Flight of the Hippogriff. The Coco Cruiser, I think, is the smallest roller coaster here. This is the second smallest one. The, the funnest 45 seconds of the day. I like that ride. It's cute. I like the corkscrew at the end. That's that's a lot of fun. I tell you what, Hershey Park in the fall is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We got one guy on the Hershey's Tower. 
Oh, two. Couple. <laughs> And all three towers are a walk on right now as well, so. If they gave you, if you got $2,000 to go on that, would you go on it? <laughs> 5,000. You'd be a lot more money than that. $10,000 would you go on it? I'm looking at like six figures. We're gonna check out Zoo America. I bet this is cool at night with the lights and stuff. I guess there's a route you go, right? What? You've been through this before. Is just a route you walk around? There's a suggested route. Okay. Oh, yeah, there yeah, is. A little bit of a... Is that a snake? Yeah. Cotton Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. Well, hello there, fella. He's eating some... Something. Looks like Cocoa Puffs all disintegrated. Chow-chowing down. I'm so glad you're with me so you can read the signs. Can I even tell you what stuff is? Yes. This guy's just like going crazy on his afternoon lunch. That looks like dog food if dog food was submerged in a pond. What is it? Venus flytrap. Oh, yes, it's a Venus flytrap habitat. Look at that. Got like a sleeping owl up there. American gator, alligator. Tell us an alligator because he'll see you later. I'll tell you what, they have the life, don't they? They just can sit around and do absolutely nothing. Like that's something like I would love to do. He just put you in the zoo. I kind of, I just put me in the zoo. Put me in the zoo and I will, I'll be very happy. Crikey, over here we have the North American TJ. Who likes to sit on the couch and eat nachos. You really can't bring me to a zoo and expect me to behave, so. We can't bring you anywhere. <laughs> yep. and, and during the dark nights, they did have Zoo America open for a couple weekends, so they have some lights out. Supposedly, they were enticing the animals to be out during the night, so I don't know if maybe there was more activity, I don't know. Well, look at that. It's a pair of parrots. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do they talk? Kind of. Want a cracker? It's a beautiful bald eagle. It's gorgeous. All right, we cut our time in Zoo America a little short. We want to go to the Aqua Theater for the uh, Sea Lion Show. Well, that was a rookie mistake. You got to get in from the top on the other side of the know, aqua theater. You always have to do that. You've never done this show before. That's There's what I definitely said. a line at the bottom. Rookie maybe mistake. The, but maybe like in the summer they let you in the bottom because maybe. everyone else did the same thing. Yeah. Welcome to the aqua theater here at Hershey Park. Hello everybody, how are y'all doing today? That's pretty good. We are a bit of a smaller crowd. I do want to let you know that our animals actually do know exactly what the sound of your applause means. So the more energy and enthusiasm you all have today, it really does help out with our training. So whoever you see something you like, feel free to interrupt me and make it nice and loud for our stars. But I would like to formally welcome you all here to the Hershey Park Aqua Theater, the sweetest place on earth. We are currently the home to two California sea lions and three Atlantic Harbor seals. In animal care and educating the public about marine life, the environment, and conservation, of course, we do it all with the help of some very special flippered friends. Atlantic Harbor seal weighing right around 100 pounds. Let's make it nice and loud for Harbor! Ever born here at Hershey Park. 
She's our five-year-old Atlantic Harbor Seal. Let's make it nice and loud for Coco! It's on the side of their head. So we seal like these two have internal ears. So all you'll really be able to see on them is a small hole or bump about an inch behind their eye. A sea lion, on the other hand, has ear flaps on the side of their head called external pinnae. They kind of just look like little tootsie rolls on the side of a sea lion's head. Now the second difference is how they use their front flippers. Seals have smaller front flippers, only about the size of our human hand. In the water, they will use their front flippers for steering while they get all the power they need from their hind flippers by fanning them out, moving them side to side in a motion called sculling. They can actually reach a burst speed of about 15 to 20 miles per hour. A sea lion, on the other hand, has very large and powerful front flippers that they use to propel themselves through the water, reaching speeds of 20 to even 25 miles per hour. And these two are doing a great job out here so far. Let's make a nice and laugh for them. A sea lion, on the other hand, has an adaptation called a rotating hip bone, which allows them to rotate their hind flipper up and under their stomach, and they can move or even run on land using all four of their flippers. Now that you know some of the differences between a seal and a sea lion, hopefully you will be able to tell these two very different species apart. And these two did a wonderful job highlighting those differences. Let's put our hands together for them! Very nice to you too. Now seals and sea lions also have many adaptations that allow them to both live on land as well as in the water. These animals are extremely flexible and agile, which helps them find their food on a daily basis and avoid their natural predators. So I'd love to highlight some of these adaptations for you all. Now the first is their body shape. These animals kind of are shaped like a torpedo, being smaller at the ends and thicker towards the middle. This is a hydrodynamic body shape and it allows these animals to cut through the water without wasting too much energy. Very nicely done. The last adaptation I would like to highlight are the whiskers on the side of their face. These animals have whiskers which have specialized nerve endings in the tips called vibrissae. They can voluntarily retract and extend these whiskers out. So if they're ever in dark and murky water and may not be able to see very well, they can use those whiskers to sense vibrations to find their food or avoid their natural predators. These two did a great job highlighting those adaptations. Let's put our hands together for them. Very nicely done. These two are doing a great job out here so far. Let's put our hands together for them. Very nicely done. Now, one really important part of our training is husband behavior. And this is any of the medical behaviors that we can train with our animals. Our trainers examine all of our animals daily, presenting their eyes, ears, flippers, even their tails are part of our animals' daily routines. This just ensures that whenever they need medical attention, it can be done restraint free and be as comfortable for the animal as it is for our trainers. Some husband behaviors that our animals know include laying down for ultrasounds and x-rays. We can open up their mouth and brush their teeth on a regular basis. And we can also get a voluntary blood sample from their hind flippers. Being over 330 pounds. He's our nine-year-old male California sea lion. Let's make a nice and loud for Ripley.
must remain 100 yards away and never attempt to feed or touch any wild marine mammal. This really is not only for your safety, but it is for the safety and protection of these animals because any human contact out in the wild can be very detrimental to their health. Ripley is doing a great job out here today. Let's put our hands together for him. Very nicely done, Ripley. Now, a lot of people come to our shows and wonder where these animals come from. It is actually illegal to take a marine mammal out of U.S. waters, and it has been that way since 1972. So all the marine mammals that you see in zoos and aquariums were either born there, came from another facility, or were a rescued animal. These animals can ensure their protection for future generations. If you have any questions while you're leaving, our trainers and staff will be located around the pool. And we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you all for joining us, and please enjoy the rest of your day here at Hershey Park. Goodbye, everybody. So that was a cool little show. Yeah. Learn about the sea lions. Right? They were sea lions, not otters. <laughs> no, otters. No, they were sea lions. There were two seals and one sea lion. Yes. You saw the seals and then we see the sea lion. That was pretty cool. And it did start raining. The rain finally caught up to yeah. us. It wasn't going to, like, not rain today. We just didn't know when, so. We just what we're doing before we start walking. Yeah, what are we doing? I don't know. The park is too big to just walk. Well, this has been a fun day. Yeah. We've done a lot. I mean... The threat of rain really scares a lot of people from theme parks. It does. It's like that at any theme park across the world, probably. Yeah. So we got here right when it opened and pretty much walk on on all the rides for the most part. Yeah, even still. Even still. And it's drizzling right now. Coasters are running. So, yeah. I mean, if you can tolerate water, yeah. it's, it's good to come to the theme park when it's the threat of rain. Like how I just talked to the Hershey statue like he's a real person. Bye, Mr. Hershey. We'll see you again next time. Again. <laughs> wow, there we go. Huh? Random bumper cars up here. Yeah. And they're starting to pump in the mist. They can just chill out up here. They have heaters, they got fireplaces. It's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna hop over into Chocolate World on the way out here. Remember a couple years ago when they had the temperature check here? I do remember that, yeah. It was really bizarre. Back when it was the pandemic, you had to, they had to like check your temperature to get in. It seems like a lifetime ago. Oh, I love the smell of Chocolate World as you walk right in. Mmm. And then they got specialty Halloween candy. It's probably gonna be gone soon. It's your two favorite things, chocolate and Harry Potter. <laughs> they have a uh, partnership with Harry Potter, I guess. They're gonna have uh, dif different themed Harry Potter type candies and merchandise. What is this, a different kiss pack? Yeah. It's got the different I don't know if it has all the houses, but different ones though. Oh, and it's a it's a it's a fire sale, two ninety five. It was regularly five fifty, so yeah, we'll get one of those. Oh, that looks good. All right, so we got the the fantastic strawberry milkshake, and then the uh, witch's brew, which is a vanilla ice cream with uh, marshmallow cream. Yeah, that looks fantastic. So this is probably the last day they're doing these. I would, I would imagine. Well, probably after Halloween, they'll probably switch to like a holiday type milkshake. But this looks pretty awesome. Alright, specialty shakes at yep. Chocolate Cheers. World. What an awesome, fun Hopping off our date date. date. <laughs> this is yummy. It's good. It's almost like a 
almost too thick to have with the straw. Yeah, you kind of have to use Either it that or have spoon. something stuck in the straw. Right. <laughs> We ended up getting four Hogwarts hats because they're on sale. They were what, $9.95? Yeah. Normally they were what, 15 bucks? No, 20. Normally they were, they were half off. $20, but they were half off because they're trying to get rid of them. And we got four of them for the family. We got a season pass discount on top of that. Yep. So, so they ended up being 30 bucks for everything. We, we also got, we got the it kisses, was $36 right? $36 for four hats. Yep. And Harry Potter themed Hershey kisses. Which was also on sale, so. Yep. Good score. Yeah. Nice. And that's gonna do it for today. We're just gonna find our car. We're gonna find the car eventually. I do this every time I, I leave Hershey Park. I don't know where I park yeah, and I just walk around. Before you vlog our goodbye. Oh, I'm vlogging the goodbye right now. So, new to the channel, like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. What a fun day that we had. <laughs> I think I was with you. You would have walked right past the I did car. that once. I actually started like saying, I've been talking, I was distracted by the camera and I ended up in the other parking lot. So yeah. anyways, what a fun day. We got to go on a couple rides, do we did some rides. We ate some, some food. food. It was supposed to rain. It, dri some stuff. it was supposed to drizzle. It did drizzle for a little bit. So it wasn't too bad. So watched the seal show. Yes. And saw the zoo America for like five seconds. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we will have a. I'm sure we'll have many more visits well, we'll to be this back park. We'll have a week for Candy King. That's right. Candy Lane. Christmas, Christmas is coming. Candy Lane. Christmas is coming. And we'll be here. So. We're getting out of here. All right, you finally broke into the Harry Potter Hershey Kisses, and what's it saying? This one says, Happy Birthday, Harry. It's just like his cake. Okay. This Slytherin one says, Five points hold it up to the camera. for sheer dumb luck. Hold on. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, that, so they're all different sayings. Well, they're, like, this is a quote from when Harry and Ron killed the troll. I don't know when that happened. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and then there's a, Patro a stag Patronus. Yep. That's Harry's Patronus. With the Patronus. As I wear my Harry Potter hat. <laughs>